Okay, good morning. Welcome to Super Math 112. Super Math So today we're revisiting a problem that's actually given you a little bit of difficulty twice um, on uh, doing some old AMC 10 A's. Or actually, this one's 10 B, right? This is 2006 yeah. AMC 10 B, I think? Yeah. Problem number 11. Um, so the question is find, find the tens digit of 7 factorial plus 8 factorial plus 9 factorial plus da 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 plus all the way up to 2006 factorial. Now, before we even start in on this, so you see this problem, what do you think? Well, this looks like it's, it's going to be insane to multiply out and then add up. Yeah, yeah. So you, I don't think you're allowed to have calculators on this test, I'm pretty sure you're not. Um, yeah. Um, so this, if you try to multiply And out, you only have like an hour and 15 minutes on the whole test? Yeah. So that's probably not even enough time to calculate 2006 factorial by hand. So there's probably a super sneaky way to do this. Yeah, so there's probably a, a, an approach that's different than multiplying every single one of these numbers out and adding them up. Well, we can make, we can make a By the way, problem. That's an important observation. One of the things you want to do, or it was, I shouldn't say you want to do, one of the things that's helpful a lot in math problems is try to think of problems that might be easier, or think of ways to do things that might be easier. So what do you want to do here? Well, maybe we could find the ones digit. Okay, good. Well, actually, that's really easy because the ones digit for every one of these is zero. Okay, how come the ones digit well, is zero? Because you have a two, seven factorial is seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. All right. And you have a two and a five in every one of these. Okay. So it's all zero. All right, so you have a 2 and a 5 in all of them. So there's 2 times 5. So what is 7 factorial? 7 factorial we can calculate. Well, 6 factorial is 720. So 7 factorial is 720. 7. So 5,040. All right, so 7 factorial, write that like right there. Or something. 7 factorial is 5,040. Eraser. We've only done about 2,000 of these videos, and I can never remember to bring erasers. 7 factorial is 5,040. It ends in a 0. And that 0 comes from the fact that we have a 5 and a 2 hiding inside of 7 factorial. Okay? So that makes calculating what digit super easy? The ones. The ones digit of this sum is super easy because why? Because all the ones digits in every single one of these numbers are 0. So that gives you a little bit of a hope that calculating the tens digit might also be easy. Well, 10 factorial is 10 times 9 times all the way down to 1. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this has <coughs> two twos and two fives in it. Yeah. So this is going to end in 0, 0. So 10 factorial, interestingly enough, ends in 0, 0. And 11 factorial would end in the same, it would still end in 0, 0. Okay, what's the first factorial that ends in three zeros? Well, that would be, it would be a hundred factorial. Actually, no, that's not entirely true. Actually, it would be 15 factorial. How come? Because you just need another five. You pick up your third 5 and 15 factorial. 15 factorial is the first one that ends in 3 zeros. What's the first one that ends in 4 zeros? It would be 20 factorial. 20 factorial. What's the first one that ends in 5 zeros? It would be 25 factorial. Wait, that, that also ends in six, that ends in six zeros, so there isn't one. Haha, <laughs> there isn't one that ends in five zeros. On 25 factorial, the 25 gives you two fives. Yeah. So you get six zeros there. Okay, so, so this is interesting. This is an interesting observation. Hey, 10 factorial ends in two zeros, so all the factorials after that end in two zeros. So what do I have to do to look at the tens digit? Well, you just need seven factorial plus eight factorial plus nine factorial. You just need this part. You just need that part. Okay. And you don't even need all of those, you just need the, the last two digits for each of them. Well, last digit of 7 factorial is 40. Last two digits is 40. Yeah. 
then if you multiply it by 8 to get to 8 factorial, so that would be 3, 20, but you only need the last two digits, okay. so 20. Then 20 times 9 is 180, but you get the 80. Okay. So, so what are we going to see for the tens digit? 40 plus 20 plus 80. Alright. Which is 140, but we only need that part. I need the 40. So the tens digit of the sum is... Four. If they asked for the hundreds digit, you'd have to calculate the hundreds digit all the way up to 15 factorial. That's when you get all three zeros. If no, they asked for the thousands digit, you'd have to go up to 20 factorial. So that would be a big task. It, it wouldn't be impossible. But it would be a, It'd lot. Be a lot of arithmetic and yeah. sort of stupid. But yeah, it'd be so, it would at least on this problem, you, there's, an, there's an idea here. Yeah. And the idea is, oh, wait a minute, after 10 factorial, they're all zeros. Okay, that's the idea. So, there you go. All right? Good working through that one. Good job.